All right, so the code for today's video will be Nano Island Baby in all caps. All right, the code will be in the description too for you to copy and paste. Let's go ahead and do it right now. All you have to do is go to codes here and then in all caps, just type in Nano Island Baby, press enter, then click on redeem. And that's actually going to give you, I believe, 30 minutes of double XP and one uncommon spin. All right, so yeah, go crazy with that. All right, y'all. So today I am going to be showing off Godspeed and Hunter Hunter. Before this video starts, though, it mean a lot if you could please drop a like on this video. All right, it helps get the video out there. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. All right, it helps me out a lot. If you subscribe to the channel, I promise you, you will be able to unlock Godspeed in real life in the year of 2067. All right, y'all. So I'm actually gonna backtrack an island. As you can see right here, I am at the level 70 to 100 island. We had to go back here because a quest was actually bugged at the time, but they fixed it. So we might as well just show off the speed of uh, speed of lightning right now. So this is Godspeed part one, okay? Pretty much this will give you a lot of speed. And as you can see, when you press Q to dash, you teleport. It takes off three of your energy every second. So yeah, you definitely want to invest a lot of your points into, I forgot what it's called. Let's see here, into your stamina, okay? And we actually have skill points. We're just going to put it all into strength because, hey, bro, we're trying to do some damage. What can I say? Anyways, let's go ahead and charge up here and exit. Bop. And yeah, that's pretty much speed of lightning. Now, whirlwind is pretty much the same thing, except you actually get combat skills now. And I believe you're faster. I'm, I'm not too sure. It looks about the same speed. Um, Yeah, you guys are just going to have to judge it in the comment section down below. If you think whirlwind and speed of lightning are the same we go to abilities here and we can look at the description godspeed part one this state consists of only speed no lock on attacks q dashes replaced with teleports whirlwind godspeed part two you gain a 50 percent chance of teleporting towards your enemies when you start an attack left click and overall agility is boosted to a very high level so agility is boosted to a very high level that means we should be faster if that's what the agility stat does i'm not too sure though and let's see if look, look okay we're gonna activate whirlwind right now does it actually affect the agility stat no it doesn't so it's like a hidden agility buff all right so we could spawn a boat right but we're too cool for that Bruh. we're just gonna go ahead and godspeed our way to the next island All right, so we are finally here, and if you actually press L, you'll be able to actually find your quest. Now, the quest that was bugged was the Logan quest, so we're going there right now to actually pick it up, and uh, he probably is going to give me something like defeat some NPCs, so we'll go ahead and show off every single move against those NPCs. All right, so the first move we have here is Lightning Palm, okay? It says electrocute your opponents by touching them with both palms and pushing them back. You have to be somewhat close for this move to actually work, it looks like a long range move. Well, not a long range move. It looks like a range move at first, but if you're this far, watch. Like, it, it's, it's not going to hit, okay? You got to be somewhat close to them for it to hit. So something I do like doing with this move is going... Oh my God, he's going crazy on me. Hold up. Let me set him up real quick. So one thing I like doing is four M1s, lightning palm, wait a bit, and then do another M1. As you can see right there, it's, it's really nice. And whoa, relax on me, dude. Okay, relax. There we go. These moves right here have nothing to do with uh, Godspeed. I just use them for combo extenders against these NPCs. But yeah, Lightning Palm is really, really awesome, okay? You can go four M1s into a Lightning Palm. And then you want to wait for like a millisecond, like 0.5 seconds before M1ing again. Because if you just go and do four M1s Lightning Palm and continue to M1 again, it won't reset the combo. So I'll show you guys what I mean if you do it too fast. Four M1s. Do this. And then as you can see, it knocks them back like that. So if you don't wait a bit, you can't actually combo extend. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how it's done properly if you actually do it properly. So watch. One, two, three, four. Lightning palm, wait a bit. One, two, three, four. And then you can just go ahead and combo up like this. Two, three, four. Oh, crap. He's going crazy on me. Relax on me, dude. But yeah, you guys get what I mean. As you can see right here. We got to block these real quick. 
He's going crazy. We're using the game pass moves right now. We'll go ahead and go into further detail what they do later. Oh my god, relax on me, dude. Flash a light, you're dead. There we go. Okay. All right, let's go into our freaking power state real quick by pressing C. And what I actually like doing with Lightning Palm is four M1s. Oh, crap. Hold up. Ow. Oh, stop going crazy on me, dude. Four M1s. Oh, my God. He's blocking everything. Relax. Stop blocking everything, dude. All right. You know what? We'll just have to do it off the bat. Lightning Palm. Hold E. Just like that, okay? So you can actually use your Lightning Palm, hold E for your Nen Blast, and then continue up with an M1 combo for maximum damage. And doing that in your freaking power state, it just does a lot of damage. Watch this. As you can see right there, it, it literally took half his health. It's really nice, y'all. Combining your Nen Blast into your combos really does give you an upper advantage in combat so be used to actually just you know holding e sometimes in the middle of your combo so you can combo extend with that all right the second move that we have is thunderbolt it's nothing too special i think lightning palm's better but thunderbolt is more long range so you just throw it out here bop it stuns the enemy and then it gives them like electrical damage afterwards but it does knock them back so you can't really like combo extend off of it this guy might actually clap me. Hold up. Relax. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going to actually go ahead and see right now if you can actually combo extend with Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, crap. I did not mean to use that. Yikes. Let's see here. One, two, three. Thunderbolt. Yeah, you can't really combo extend with Thunderbolt because it knocks them back, but it does stun the user for a bit, as you can see right there. So it's not a bad move, but I probably won't use it in a PvP set. All right. Now let's go on with speed of lightning so with speed of lightning it actually gives no combat benefits you're just faster and it drains your nen as you can see right here oh my god stop going crazy on me dude relax i'm just trying to run from you man but yeah this gives no uh combat benefits at all it's literally just here for the speed and oh, why are on, they man. jumping me jesus the thing that you really want is whirlwind this is godspeed part two this is the better version okay what this will do is hold on we'll actually go ahead and show off speed of lightning in combat so you guys can see what i mean so with speed of lightning all right we activate it and when we attack bro can you stop going crazy on me all right so we're gonna attack him right now and you can see right here it, it does nothing okay i attack for 8.3 we take off speed of lightning activate whirlwind and now i actually get electric combat damage you see how you see that right there you see that right there i get the 8.3 plus the 1.5 from the electrical combat damage so it's really nice lightning palm him real quick bop 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 use my nen blast bop 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 sharp nails and you're dead thank you very much all right so they say with killua's yo-yos you can make the electrical combat better but i'm not too sure so let's actually switch to a katana here and see if electrical combat damage is still the same okay yeah so it's still 1.5 electrical combat damage so i'm not too sure what they mean by having killua's yo-yo actually makes the electrical combat better yes yeah. somebody's gonna have to either it's a bug that it's not better or i don't know but killua's yo-yos is supposed to apparently make it better somehow but it looks the same to me as of right now at least so that's something to note y'all all right so that's pretty much it for all the godspeed moves y'all all right moving on to the actual Kilowatt yo-yo game pass move so this is really good okay these are the really cool moves so the first move is scatter it is used as a combo extender so you can go one two three four you scatter and it will suck them in and electrocute them for you to one two three oh well okay well Never mind, NPCs have freaking no stun, dude. They go crazy. Holy crap. Stop, stop, stop. Relax on me. All right, the second move is ultimate force. You pretty much just do this right there. And it does a decent amount of damage, as you can see right there. You pair it up with the power cloak, you're probably going to be doing a lot of damage. So ultimate force is not bad at all either. It's just a combo ender move instead of an extender. And that did 57 damage. Wow, not bad. All right, lightning palm you, then blast, and you're dead. Thank you very much. So I'd say overall, the Killua Yo-Yo Game Pass, it's it's all right, all right? It has a scatter move, you know, scatter's a combo extender. For what it's worth, you should buy it, okay? But if you do have the money, I'd say the best Game Pass is definitely the Katana, okay? Because 
yeah, those katana moves go crazy. I will make a video on that one soon. Watch this. Hit him with the scatter. One, two, three, four. Oh, my God. These NPCs with their no stun, man. They're deadly. One, two, three, four. Flash of light. One, two, three, four. God pressure. One, two, three, four. Dragon fist. All right, so yeah, um, I am level 86 right now, and I don't think there's other high levels in the game because I did power level, so I don't think I can actually find anybody to actually PvP against, but I can definitely see Godspeed and the Killua Yo-Yo Game Pass combined together being a very good PvP moveset because of the electrical damage, you know, your speed. Obviously, speed in games always gives you an advantage. The TPing punches that you get, like watch this right here. I'll be right here. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be right here. And as you can see, it TP towards them. So it's like, it's really nice, y'all. And for PvE, as you can see, it gets the job done against mobs. See? It does enough damage against mobs, I believe. The only problem with it is it does take a lot of your Nen bars. So every time you, uh, hold up. Let me go ahead and kill this guy real quick. Bop, there we go. Every time you do kill a mob, you are going to have to charge your Nen. So it's not the best in terms of, like, power leveling. I definitely have a better power leveling moveset. Anyways, y'all, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more. Other than that, it's been your boy Nano, and I'm out. Peace. All I gotta do is put my mind to this shit. Goddamn. Cancel out my ex, I put a line through that bitch. I like all my asses with two lines through them shits.